Did you hear the joke about the three holes in the ground? No? Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm not saying it's good. It's, it's all I've got. Boop! <laughs>Hey guys, and welcome back. Welcome back to most of you in person. Some of you still remote. That's cool. I missed you all anyway, but it's good to see you again. So here we are. We're on day two of our essay, and you will be finishing your rough draft today. But Mr. Ferber, Mr. Ferber, that's not enough time. Oh, it's plenty of time. It's plenty of time. So, uh, you know, when we get our end of the year exams and all these things, we say, write an essay. You have like an hour and a half to write an essay. I figure you're getting about two hours to write this one. Now, I know it's going to be a rough draft. It's not like the other ones where we've worked on it a whole bunch and all this stuff. It's okay. We're writing a rough draft. I know it's not going to be perfect. But let's take a look at what we should be doing today. And really, it is just finishing up some things. I want to go over some paragraph writing with you real quick before you finish writing your essay. So please watch this video through to the end. So, numero uno, Google Classroom. You click on that. And you'll notice that the actual textbook assignment is here. It's in the week of 1 4 to 1 8. I would move it up, but then I'd have people like, where is it? Where is it? Just, it's right here. It's fine. So we're going to click on that and open it. Go ahead and open your textbook, pause the video, and come back when you have it. Excellent. So here's what you should have. Right here, we're going to go ahead and hide the image so we can work with the text more easily. And we have finished making meaning, we finished language development, and last time we started on effect, uh, effective expression, writing to sources, and we're writing this argumentative essay here. This is our prompt. Having passion for a subject is more important than having knowledge about it. Hmm. And last time I gave you some clues. I said, you got to try to include these words in your essay. And what you'll notice is all these words have to do with passion. Every single one of them. And they're in the story. So if you're having trouble finding some evidence, uh, quotes from the story, look at this list of words and read them in context. Okay, and you'll go, oh, that might be a good thing to quote in my essay. So, before you write today, we're not doing this or anything yet, these questions over here on the right. Before you start writing today, I want to show you something. We're going to look at two examples of a body paragraph. One's going to be not so good, and one's going to be, oh, that's pretty good, pretty good for a rough draft. So let's look at these, and we're going to analyze them. Um, I will put this document on Google Classroom so you can open it and follow along if you like, though it's not required. So if you want to open up this document right here, very thin body paragraphs, pause the video and open it up. All right, and you are back. You have opened up this document, or you're like, it's fine, I'll watch on the video. That's good with me too. So let's look at this first paragraph, first body paragraph. Now. We know with our body paragraphs, not an intro, not a conclusion, just a body paragraph, we need to focus on like one common idea, like a more specific idea. We need to have some evidence and we need to have some explanation in there as well, right? So let's take a look at this one. All right, so let's break down the sentences first. How many sentences do I have? I have one here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it in one color. Uh, what do you think? Teal. And then I have another sentence here, which doesn't start with a capital letter, so that's a problem. Can you guess which one this is? Is this the good paragraph or the bad one? It's the bad one. You know it already. But let's look at why it's not effective. And I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you to find something about this paragraph that's working. What's something about this paragraph that is working? Let's read it together. Passion is important. The only thing that separates, your, separates you from CEOs in corner offices or scientists in labs is determination, hard work, and a passion for what you want to achieve. That's why passion is so important. 
okay? So what's something good that this um, paragraph is doing? I'd like you to go ahead and write here. Good. I'd like you to go ahead and write something that this paragraph does that's good or that it does well. Okay. Like, is it on prompt? Does it cite evidence? Does it explain the evidence? Okay, what's something it does well? And what's something that needs improvement? What? Yes, improvement. What's something that needs improvement here? Now, I do want you to look at that, but we're going to glance down at something that is like this, but hopefully you'll be able to see the difference between these two things. So let's look here. <clears throat> we'll go teal first sentence is teal. Is that right? Teal and teal. Yep. Okay, then orange for the quote. But I don't have a quote right away. I have something else here. So, okay, we'll pick another color. It's not a quote. But then I do have the quote sentence here. And my quote was orange. Hmm. This one has more words right off the bat. It's easy to see. And then this looks like probably some kind of explanation. And I put that in green. And then we have a final sentence here. I'm going to guess that's probably my conclusion, but let's double check it. And I like a gray. Okay. So let's look at this next one. Passion is so important because it is a main trait in taking people from average to excellent. Okay. Is that specific? Yes, it's much more specific than passion is important. Like it tells us why passion is important. And it tells us it's so important. And it gives us a very specific reason. Taking people from average to excellent. Now look, this sentence is a little awkward. It's a rough draft. It's okay. It's a little bit choppy. Passion is so important because it is a main trait. Maybe it is the main trait in taking people. Uh, maybe because it's a trait that takes people from average to excellent would be better. Passion is so important because it takes people from average to excellent. That might be a better way to word this. So, But it's okay, right? This is a rough draft. So I'm not going to take off points for this. The fact is this is a very specific topic sentence. Um, it's great. Okay, it's very specific. That's what we're looking for. That's like an A. Okay, what's my next sentence? Barrington Irving spoke about the path to success in the National Geographic article about himself. He says, the only thing that separates you from CEOs is determination, hard work, and a passion for what you want to achieve. When Irving says the only thing, he really means that anyone at all can achieve high levels of success if they really develop a passion for their goals. With passion, people can propel themselves to the success they desire. Very different from this. What do you notice is a difference between these two quotes? We have this here, and then we have like this here are the quotes. What's something you notice? Mm-hmm. Yep. We have introduced our evidence with this. And the quote, there's something different between this quote right here and this quote right here. And if you noticed it, it's right here. Dot, dot, dot. I use something called ellipses. <clears throat> we don't use this all the time. We only use it when we really need to. And though this quote is very good, it's very long. And it contains information that's not super important for what I want to say. And so when I read this quote and it talks about CEOs in corner offices or scientists in labs, all of this for me, the point he's saying is very important people. And for me, CEOs captured that. I didn't need to say CEOs in corner offices or scientists. Love. So I just put CEOs and I cut out the rest of that stuff, dot, dot, dot. And I still made it sound like a good sentence. Like the only thing that separates you from CEOs is determination. It sounds like a sentence. 
there's nothing awkward. I didn't cut out super important stuff. So I shortened it to make it more readable for my reader. And then my explanation. What's the difference in my explanation here and my explanation here? Hmm. I did something called word glue. Everybody say word glue. Word glue. Very good. In fact, I want you to write a definition of word glue here. Word glue. Those of you who don't watch the video will be like, what do I write for word glue? And you don't tell them. Don't tell them what to write there. Um, or tell them something silly that's the wrong answer. Here's what word glue is. Word glue is using a word from the quote and focusing in on it and you glue it down into your explanation and analyze it. So let's sum that up. Word glue is focusing in on a specific word or phrase from the quote and explaining it. Go ahead and write in your own words what is word glue. If you're not sure, if you're not sure, then look at how this works. The only thing that separates you. When Irving says the only thing, he really means that anyone at all can achieve high levels of success if they develop a passion for their goals. So I'm interpreting what that specific word only, the only thing, the only thing. And you'll notice that is one of the most important words in this quote. So I'm zooming in on that one word and I'm interpreting that one word, one phrase. Word glue is really good. If you can do word glue, awesome. You're doing great. So take a minute, write your definition of word glue. Pause here if you need to. Okay, you've written your definition of word glue. And then the last thing we do is we end with a uh, concluding sentence that kind of sums up this. Passion is important because of the main trait in people, taking people from average to excellent. With passion, people can propel themselves to success, the success they desire. Okay. So, Mr. Faber, Mr. Faber, I can hear you now. I thought you said two pieces of evidence in a paragraph. Grr. Okay, maybe. Like, I get it. If you can do that, do that. Maybe you're really struggling with it. You're like, ah, I really don't know what to write. Do your best. It's a rough draft. I want to see that you can write a topic sentence that's specific, that you know how to introduce your evidence, that you can do a good job explaining it. And if it's one piece of evidence for this essay, this rough draft, it's okay. If you have two, you're killing it. You're doing great. All right, so make sure you open this document if you didn't earlier. Fill in these um, questions here. And uh, I will see you and your completed essay later. You take care.